Welcome back to Devos with Dre. And you can see we are not set up as usual. But we have something exciting in plan for you or planned and in store for you. Uh, you already know my wife, Kara. Then you know Myron. And then we have Myron's family. We got the entire Patrick's here. We got Senea here and little Josiah. Patrick, So we were, we've been doing, and we're still continuing to walk through Acts, but we wanted to take a little bit of time just to talk about um, what do we do in the waiting as Christians? There's a lot of stuff been happening since 2020, the pandemic. You had all of the racial tension rising. You had all of the economic things going on. Now we have Roe v. Wade being overturned. We have all of these mass shootings upon top of the other mass shootings. And there are many Christians that are running around like a chicken without their heads, uh, with their heads cut off and not knowing what to do in this time, in this day and age. And we decided we wanted to have a discussion type format and just talk about what should we be doing from the standpoint of Christians, because we have everything from the the edges, everything in between. We've got those that say, um, well, it's going on. It's, it, we, we can go ahead and throw the baby out with the bathwater. It's all going downhill from here anyways. I'm just going to sit back and wait until Jesus gets here. Then you've got the other people on the other end like saying, okay, well, maybe what we're supposed to do is we can fix this. They have that we can fix this uh, mindset that if we just get in place as Christians, then everything will be turned around. But we will be coming from various scriptures. We, we know in Matthew chapters 23 through 25, particularly in chapter 24, that God speaks, uh, Jesus speaks about the last days and all of these things that will happen. And we know that it's going down. Uh, we know in Second Timothy chapter 4, he talks about how godlessness will increase in the last days. All of these um, many mentionings that everything's going to pot in a sense. And we have Revelation 21 that he's going to burn it all up and we're going to have a new heaven and a new earth. We know it's going to happen. But what is our position? That's what we're talking about today. So, um, Myron, if you would go do your thing and get us on our, on our discussion. <laughs> First of all, just it, it's tragic from just a human standpoint of all of the lives lost uh, and oh, unnecessarily in many ways. And it's definitely indicative of the crazy times we live in. It's just like, man, and for me, it's almost, a, as Jesus says, you'll see these different signs and you'll know, the, you'll know that we're in the end times. And 
it's crazy because we have been in the end time since Jesus rose and ascended and said, I'll be back. And no one knows the day nor the hour. But I'm sitting there in the in these end times as this stuff comes in and processing and like, man, those are lives lost. This is crazy. It's happening. Um, and it is a struggle at times. It's like, yeah, it's happening. Yes, I should be praying at the least. And then what can I be doing? Then I've got these other people like, man, you need to be voting this and voting that and moving here, moving there. And I'm like, wow. It's sometimes, honestly, it can feel like, are we supposed to pray towards these things and pray for this stuff to get better? But is that praying against the will of God? Because since he already said it's going to be jacked up anyways. And then what should we be doing? And I don't like the feeling. I try to fight the feeling of just setting still with it. It's not. I want to make sure I, I try to process it. Pray for families. Be in the moment in that sense. But then on the other hand, I'm like, we also, I have to be realize, wow, we're in the end times. I need to be moving in the mission that God has given me because the time is coming to a close. I might be good in Jesus. I'm good. But what about all those that are not? And it makes me think about the, um, that life is a vapor, as Solomon would say many times, like this life is short. What am I doing with it? How am I reaching others? Because Sadly, I kind of hope sometimes that the people, um, you know, the people who die are Christians, because at least I know they're going to to be to be with Jesus as opposed to, oh, man, what? So I guess that's a little bit about how I feel.
That's good. Wow. So much to unpack. Oh my gosh. See, that's the beauty of having the community, the body of Christ, to have a conversation. We have different takes, different experiences, different views, and then we get together and talk, and the Holy Spirit is in the midst. And it's like, I see what you said. Like, just from what she said, I'm like, dang, you brought in a good point that none of us have brought up yet, which is community. But- Amen. Amen. Oh, 